Hi friends, welcome to day 14 of Advent. Today we're gonna do my TBR takedown for the month of November. So let's see how many unread physical books I have on my TBR shelves. In November I started with 169 books left after the end of October and we will go ahead and start with the books that I hauled for this month and I also read one of these and so it'll come on and off in the same time. Just watch the numbers y'all. So the first book is Wrapped Up for Christmas by Caitlin Duncan. Caitlin is a author tuber so if you want to check her out she will be linked down below. This book follows Angie who loses her boyfriend, her job, her apartment all in the same week and has to go back home for Christmas and I'm sure it is very hallmarky and I'm here for that. I don't really know what happens but I'll tell you when I read it later. Next is Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. This is the Alcrate book for November. Beautiful red sprayed edges. Love this cover. So here for it. I know this book takes place in like a kingdom and it is a very prophetess kingdom where they like don't have droughts. Everybody's fed. Everybody's got plenty of things that they need uh, because a king had made a deal with the woman in the woods and then the king dies, there's a new queen, something happens. Uh, our main character has to go on an adventure with a fox in order to figure out how to save the kingdom. Pretty much all I know. But I like Ashley Poston so we then have The Tower of Nero by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth and final book in the Trials of Apollo series and this series follows Apollo after the events of the end of the Heroes of Olympus where Zeus curses him to earth as a regular mortal teenage boy and this series follows his adventure to win back his godhood. I also read this this month so it comes on and goes back off. And the last book we're hauling is Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. I honestly don't remember what this is about. It was one of my most anticipated releases for this year literally just because it's Marissa Meyer and uh that's all I've got. As always I will go through my red books in the order that I read them. I will include both the ones that did and did not count as coming off the TBR and then let you know at the end where our numbers are at uh, just simply because it's easier for me that way. So we have The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. That is a tongue twister. Five books in The Creepover series by PJ Knight. They are Together Forever, What a Doll, Don't Drink the Punch, Read It and Weep, and No Trick or Treating. Christina's Ghost by Betty Run Wright. The Mall by Megan McCafferty. The Haunting of Beatrix Green by Rachel Hawkins and Others. The Ever After by Amanda Hawking. A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And Meet Cute, Some People Were Destined to Meet, which is an anthology by multiple authors. I also had a DNF for this month and I did not include that in my wrap up, which is weird because I normally do, but I did not. I'm kind of all over the place this month with the advent videos. Uh, so my DNF for the month is One Day in December by Josie Silver. I didn't think that I would like this. Like I bought it because people were talking about it but then I realized that it had like a two best friends are in love with the same guy trope and it just really pissed me off about 30 or 40 pages in and I did some research on reviews of uh, what happens. I did some spoiler reviews. I'm okay with spoiler reviews for books especially because I reread books and love to reread books so knowing like a plot point in something like this does not bother me. I don't like to know plot points in like thrillers or mysteries but in something like this plot points don't bother me. So I did like some spoiler reviews and I know that this is not a book that I'm going to love and I'm not wasting my time on it so this is a DNF and an unhaul for me. Hey guys editing Jessica here. I wanted to talk to you specifically about something that I also DNF'd this month and I forgot about it because it was an arc and that is For Better or Cursed by Kate Williams. It is the follow-up to last year's The Babysitter's Coven which have the most gorgeous covers so it is so sad that they're a little trash. The first book was okay. I didn't love it but it was all right and I was like I'll go ahead and read the second book. I got an arc for the first book as well. I got an arc for the second book and uh, this is specifically where I ended. I took a screen cap of it because I want you guys to know that it's there. I talked to a couple of different people about it and I just, it didn't sit right with me and I 
felt really kind of skeevy reading it. So yeah, I want you guys to know it's there and I want you to be aware of it and uh, definitely not supporting this book or this author. So basically it's two friend characters and they're going somewhere. The friend of the main character says something about they're going to Chick-fil-A and the main character says, you know, they're homophobes, right? And it says Janice grimaced and nodded. I know, I know, but we finished the sentence together. Waffle fries. I get that they're teenagers. I get that. I get that. Especially with teenagers, they can look past uh, the fact that where you put your money is the people that you support. I understand that sometimes you don't have a choice in who you support with your money. Um, sometimes things just are the way they are or that maybe you don't know that the people that you're supporting with your money are total asshats, but just the way that it is worded is basically like, well, I know they're homophobes and they give money to uh, companies that are trying to, you know, not allow homosexuals to have the things that the rest of us get to have and that they put money into these camps where they try to convert people from being gay into being straight. I know they do that, but also they have really good waffle fries. And I'm sorry, but I can't support that. I can't. That to me is so negligent and just skeevy and gross. I I finished the chapter and then put the book down and I thought about it for a couple of days and was just, I couldn't, I couldn't go back to it. And I, I think I originally, I, I haven't. I don't remember what I actually said in the blog, whether I actually talked about that part specifically or not, because I don't think I was going to in the beginning, but the longer it sat with me, the worse I felt about it. So that gives us 169 plus four purchased plus eight red that count towards coming off my TBR plus one DNF and unhaul leaves us to 164. There are some things we need to talk about. Like I still have a month to go, but let's talk about this. When I started in January, my number was 197. It is now 164, which means 30 books have come off of my TBR. I've read over a hundred books this year. So either I've bought a lot of books or I've bought and read a lot of books. Either way, it's lower than what it was at the beginning of the year. We've still got another month to go to see what happens. But girl, it's going down and that's the important part. And just moving forward. Let's go ahead and do day 14's creator spotlight before I have a mild panic attack. Day 14 is Natalie Locke. Natalie is primarily an author tuber so her channel mostly focuses on her writing. She does writing sprints. She also typically partakes in the uh, author tube virtual writing retreat so like the weekends where they do um, different little information videos plus sprints. She'll usually do those. She is doing no wordy this year so she's trying to do the whole write a million words in a year thing. She also was the game maker for the worldwide writeathon and I'm going to continue leaning on her to help me out in the future if she will allow me to. So go check out Natalie's channel. Make sure that you tell her hi and hopefully you all will enjoy her as much as I do. That is all I have for today. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books that we talked about today. Um, whether you've read them or you liked them, didn't like them, if any of them are on your TBR for the future. Let me know what you hauled this month. If you have a haul video and you just want to send me to that, that's cool too totally okay with that. Uh, if you don't want to miss anything we have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!